branching letters. Now these are called reverse branching letters because just like the branching letters, they're just like the branching letters, but they're upside down, basically. So just like the N is like that, the U is opposite. The Y A D G and P. Just kidding, not P. So, with the branching letters, remember back to the tree analogy, you start with the stump, the trunk of the tree, and then you branch off. For these guys, the, stump, the trunk of the tree is on the opposite side. You start with the extra part, and then you get... to the trunk of the tree. So with the branching letters, you start with the, the hard part, not, not the, like difficult, but like you start with the, the, the main one, the first, very first line, the trunk of the letter, and then you go with the details. Boom, details, boom, extra stuff, boom, extra stuff, you get the point. With these, you start with the extra stuff and then you go into the trunk. Start with the extra stuff, trunk. Extra stuff, trunk. Does everyone understand? Or would you like me to go over it again? Okay, to our next letter group. Our next letter group is called oval letters. These are, again, pretty straightforward. Okay, these are pretty straightforward, just like the name. They are the circular letters, the letters that you have to go around. The oval letters are O, C, and E. These are oval letters because they go Wee all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. Oval letters, pretty straightforward. The next group of letters, diagonal letters. These letters, like the name, go diagonal. They're not straight, they're not fully oval. They don't branch off their diagonal. Letters like S, V, W, X, 
and Z. These letters, just like the name, are diagonal. They're not straight. They kind of do a little curve in some of them. Some of them are actual diagonal. Like it's not straight, just like the V is not straight. Otherwise, it'd just look awkward. It's not straight because then it would just be a straight line like that. It's diagonal. The W, also diagonal. It's not straight. X is quite literally diagonal. You're making two diagonal lines. And Z is kind of goes at a curve. All right, before I go over them again, would you like me to go over them again? Um, I'll be writing out the alphabet in just a second, and then we will be identifying in order of the alphabet, which ones are which letter group. All right, we'll go over it one more time. Straight letters, I, L, T, and F. They're straight. They've got a little bit of a curve in some cases, but for the most part, they're straighter than most. They're tall and straight. Think of that, they're tall and they're straight. Branching letters, remember, starts out with the straight line and then it goes into the curve straight line curves 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 straight ish line curves the the branching letters are n M, H, B, P, K, and R. The reverse branching letters start out with the curve and end with the, the straight line or end with the main curve. Curve, bigger curve, curve, straight line. Curve, curve, bigger curve. Curve, straight line, or bigger curve, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> it's all where you put the focus with these two types with these two groups it's all where you put the focus all right oval letters o c and d go round 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 Diagonal letters. These are letters that are diagonal. So the S, the V, W, the X, and the Z. All right, does anybody have any more questions? Okay. Then I'll be writing the alphabet. I was starting it and then I'm just going to quickly finish it real quick.
All right, we've got our alphabet. We've got our darker marker and we're going to, based on each letter and its format or style, we're gonna figure out which letter is belongs to which group. If we look at A, you'll see that the straighter part is on the opposite side and the curve is on the right, the left side. The curve is first and then the straight line is second. Therefore, the reverse branching letter? Yes. We'll put RB just for short. The B, if you can see, the larger line or the straighter line comes first and the curve is second. Therefore, it's a branching. It's a branching letter. Good job. The C, the C goes right we all the way around. Good job, oval. The D starts with the curve and ends with the straighter line. Reverse branching. The E goes all the way around. Oval, good job. The F, tall and straight. Straight it is. G starts out with the curve and ends with the larger curve or the, the trunk of the tree, you might say. Reverse branching. Good job. The H starts with the trunk and then branches off. Branching, good job. The eye, tall and skinny, or short and skinny, depending on how you write it. Straight, good job. The J, we skipped over, I think. Yes, the J is tall and skinny. Straight. I think that was the one that I kept out so that we can guess along the way. The K starts out Yes, good job. Starts out with the large part and then branches off. The L is tall and skinny. Straight. The M starts out with the straight and then it curves and curves, branching. The N, same thing, starts with the curve, starts with the line and then branches off into the curve. Branching. You guys are on a roll. O goes all the way around. Oval. The P. Branching, good job. The Q. The 
Q is another one I think we left out. Reverse branching. Because remember, start out with the curve and then the line. R. I think the R was in the wrong spot. It makes more sense for it to be reverse branching because this is the straighter line and that's the curve. So I think we're gonna switch it over to reverse branching. That makes more sense. The S is diagonal, good job. The T is tall and skinny, straight. The U reverse branching, good job. The V diagonal, good job. W. Up, X, diagonal, good job. Y, reverse branching, and Z, diagonal. Sorry guys, my voice is a little lower today only because I have um, a cough and a sore throat. So I won't be talking very loud. Um, if you guys can't hear me, I'll talk, I can maybe raise it a little bit higher. But um, I won't be able to talk. I'll just maybe talk closer to the camera. Anyways, you guys did it. You guys identified every letter successfully. Hopefully this, um, this grouping method helps you practice them better because it'll not only help you remember how to write them, but it will also help you um, just move the pen in a certain manner that um, fits the group. So the straight letters are straight. The branching letters have a curve on them, but you do the straight line first and then the curve. Reverse branching, you start with the extra part or the curve or whatever, and then you go into the straight line or the bigger curve or the loop, whatever the letter, specific letter is. Um, the oval letters are round. The diagonal letters are not straight, they're diagonal. So you have to have a little curve, extra curve to them. I have to write them kind of sideways and awkward, but anyways, that will work. So we are halfway done with this course. It has taken a little bit longer due to unforeseen things popping up, things that are not very fun that I've had to postpone class, but I am back and I'm going to start teaching again. I took a two week break. I'm very sorry about that. Um, but since we are seven weeks through, we are halfway done, it is time for a progress check. Now this is not something that's gonna be graded or you have to turn it in. You have to just do it on your own time. You have a week and just show me so that I can see where you guys need help, where you guys 
um, are struggling. So it'll be a two-part progress check. The first part of the progress track check is to write out the alphabet. Just like this, it can be wider, it can be smaller, it can be bigger, whatever you guys want. Just I just want A through Z written on a piece of paper. And then I want you to go online or think of something in your head and write it. Could be a favorite quote, it could be a TV lyric or TV quote, it could be an inspirational quote, a song lyric, um, a verse from a Quran or Hadith. Um, it could be anything. It could be your favorite store, your favorite stores. It's got to be multiple, as, at least, let's say at least five words, give or take. But I just want to see where you guys are so that I can teach specific things. Because at this point, we're going to talk about perfecting our calligraphy. We talked about, we've talked about the different tools you can use. We've talked about the different strokes, downstrokes, underturn strokes, overturn strokes, compound strokes, upstrokes, ascending loop, descending loop, oval strokes. We've talked about how to use those strokes in each of the letters. We've broken down every single letter. And now we've talked about the different kinds of letters and different letter groups. So now that we've talked about the alphabet and every single letter, we've gone over every single letter details. Now we're gonna talk about spacing and consistency. We're gonna talk about what the different lines are called because in calligraphy there are special lines on the paper. You know how these are perfectly spaced for school? In calligraphy, there's a different kind of paper. There's a specific kind of paper you can use, the specific kinds of lines on it. And I'll teach you guys what, are, what those are called. I'll teach you how to do different kinds of calligraphy. That's called bounce lettering, um, distance lettering. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So, faux calligraphy, we'll go into that. We'll go into um uh adding doodles and details like extra lines and shadows and then we'll do a final overview so that was what the rest of the course is going to look like so um i want to perfect the alphabet so this is what this assignment is going to be there was something in the chat whoa there was something in the chat hold on let me check it real quick can you write the homework in the chat so I can copy and paste it? Yes. Now the people who weren't here today, I will tell them next week or whenever they would like to join. All right, so the assignment is to write the alphabet on a piece of paper. And to write at least five words of your choice. It could be your favorite months. It could be your favorite numbers written out. It can be your favorite words to write in general, if anybody has a favorite word they want to write. I just want to see how you guys are writing and what it looks like so that I can teach you guys things that you might not understand fully because I can't see you guys so this is my way of checking your progress to progress check alrighty guys any questions on anything I'll go ahead and stop the recording.